You wanna know what might be the single simplest and most powerful thing you can do to create super mentors? Follow up. I know it sounds crazy to think about, like following up seems like something that should be so easy, so casual, so obvious to do, but I will tell you in my own experiment where I opened up my calendar to 81 different people to engage with me and get my help, guidance, and mentorship, of those 81 people, zero of them followed up with me after our conversation, despite kind of some specific asks about what they could follow up about. One of them followed up one year later, and in fact, we still have a relationship to this day. But the single most powerful thing to do and understand about the Super Mentors framework is the S in the past framework, the right person, the right ask, and the third one is the law of the right start. And this is really where you wanna understand here the power of what this process of activating opportunities looks like. Many times when people think about the idea of a mentor, they think about a transactional relationship. I'm going to have a meeting with you and you're going to get me a job, or I'm gonna have a meeting with you and you're going to make an introduction. It's one of those relationships that doesn't quite work that way. That's more of a transaction. Instead, what you wanna understand is your job is to build into that super mentoring relationship. Remember, past is about moving past a casual sort of mental relationship into a super mentor relationship. And that's where the law of the right start comes in. There's two important things I want you to remember about the process of engaging super mentors. Remember, you started this process by finding a project and the right people that you could attract to that project. And then you started with an ask to hopefully start the relationship to spend 15 minutes or less collaborating with them on the project, whether it's an interview, a discussion, inviting them to see something, whatever it might have you, a way to start the relationship. Here's the key thing about the right start. The single most important thing you can do is follow up and do it fast. What we found is that people who engage within 48 hours of that first relationship are most likely to lead to those follow-up relationships behind it. I'll give you a quick example. There's a woman named Melissa who today is the CMO of the Atlanta Hawks. She talked a lot about her own experience of how she was able to kind of unlock her own opportunities in the NBA to be the first female black CMO of the, in the NBA. And what she talked about is a lot of that started with an early relationship when she was an intern. She was working for the organization as an intern at the time, and she met someone in the casual course of interviewing and talking to people during her internship. In that conversation, someone in the marketing department shared with her a particular challenge they were having. And so Melissa went home that night and put together a little bit of a proposal, a package, an idea behind it, and brought it to her the very next day. Now that opportunity is what got her her foot in the door. And the woman shared with her the fact that she had followed up so quickly essentially was part of the magic. Most people take a long time and that leads to two challenges. Number one, it leads to an increased expectation in what people are expecting the follow-up to look like. And number two, it ultimately reduces the value of the follow-up. So if you follow up quickly, you will win. And most importantly, if you follow up contextually, you'll win even bigger. So here's the secret words I want you to remember. Once you have a meeting with anyone, whether it's a kind of current, unactive mentor that you want to turn into a super mentor or someone new you're meeting, within 40 hours, you want to send a message back to them, whether it's a text, an email, or something else beyond that one. And you want to say one simple thing. I've already. Now, the important thing to say is you've taken what they've given you, whether it's advice or guidance or help or whatever it is, something they've shared with you already that you've already done something about. You're already moving forward. I've already started thinking differently. I've already started you know, processing the episode. I've already started figuring out dates. Whatever it is, you're starting to show this activity, a bias towards action behind it, and you're doing it quickly. This simple act will change the relationship you have into the right start. What we'll see is this flywheel effect. It will take you into these next opportunities. So now that you've said you've already started writing it, researching it, filming it, cutting it, editing, whatever it is behind it, now suddenly you have a reason to check in again. I've already started. Do you mind if I keep you updated on the progress? Now, that's a very easy thing for them to say yes to, but what they've done is they've activated the right start. Remember, the goal here is to create more opportunities to sort of share things with them. You wanna start with a small conversation, building the relationship. Then you wanna share the next step along the way, and the next step, and the next step. And what'll happen here is as you're building that relationship, you're beginning to remain top of mind. So when an opportunity comes to them, then they can reach out to you with it. An example of that is Jack Reichard, and Jack is someone who wanted to break into the world of stand-up comedy. 
he went out and interviewed a large number of people in entertainment and film and comedy and talked to them about this research project he was doing to figure out how people were funny. And at the end of those conversations, he shared with them, do you mind if I keep you updated on what I'm learning? And nearly everyone said, absolutely. Now here's what was interesting. What Jack was then doing was updating them on the progress. And what got even more interesting is once he hit milestones, he would share things. And those people would say, oh, Jack's the guy who wants to break into comedy and he's serious about it. He's keeping me updated. And that led him into an opportunity to meet Hasan Minhaj, who then led to an opportunity for Jack to appear as the opening act at the Kennedy Center for his world tour. The key thing to know is that super mentor relationships are not transactional. It's about the right start that then creates these opportunities to build over time. That is the key, the S, the law of the right start leads to these relationships that creates a greater opportunity for you over time. So that's really the level S of this, the right person, the right ask, the right star, and next we'll talk about the right time. But remember, probably the simplest thing you can do to activate super mental relationships is simply to follow up fast. Do it quickly, tell them contextually what you learn, and remember, open the opportunities for future follow-ups over time, and that is the law of the right start.